it looks like it's springtime. So I'm going to tent camp right here in Raymond, California. This is actually on private property and it's one of my favorite places because I'm right next to a river. There's all kinds of wildlife here. Everything is beautifully green. And most importantly, I'm going to have some guests tonight, which is very rare. I'm usually just by myself and one or both of my dogs. So I'm very excited and we're going to have a great big campfire and I am going to cook some Hungarian goulash with red wine, which I haven't done before, but it's one of the ways to do it. But before we start that campfire, I wanna tell you about something. This new thing that I got, it's actually a fire ring from Colorado cylinder stoves. And this is what it looks like. So this is just one part. And I'm going to put this together and use this for my campfire. And I think this is a really good thing to have because usually when I camp, I have to gather rocks to make a fire ring. And here there aren't even any rocks. It would be very hard to find them. And this way I can just always take this with me and it looks really nice and it keeps the fire safe. So I'm going to start with that and then we're going to start cooking. This is a very practical thing to have because like I said, sometimes you might not have rocks around and this way you don't have to worry about it, but you do need something to put around your fire to contain it and keep it safe. And this would be beautiful next to the campfire. It's very easy to put together. It comes in four pieces. And although it's pretty tall and it looks kind of heavy, it's really lightweight. It comes with the screws. You just basically line them up as you can see and just you know screw them together you might have to use a screwdriver here and there but most of the screws you can just tighten with your hands and that is basically it so check out colorado cylinder stoves they have their website with the same name as well as their instagram page so this this you could hang on the mm -hmm. fire yeah. yeah and if you go to like these hungarian restaurants sometimes they have these little ones hanging on your table on you know oh that's cool under like mm -hmm. um over you know the gas so what we're gonna do so this is pork fat okay that i made you basically cook the bacon and then you pour you know you pour the the liquid in a jar and that's it so this is better than oil because it will have better flavor mm -hmm. and and just you know more old-fashioned and then onions Red onions. Um, red or wine, but you want to chop it as fine as you can, as finely. Um, this is okay, actually. So, nowadays, they have these, you know, master chefs and everything. They yeah. say that, oh, well, the, the onion's supposed to be so fine that you can't even tell. My mom told me this, and she said that all these Hungarian housewives, they're like, what do you mean? I'm supposed to stand by the stove for like four hours yeah. <laughs> and watch the onion, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of break down. So I think it's okay because you're going to have the meat and you're gonna, it's a stew basically. Yeah. But I you like don't want onion. it to be really, really big pieces. And you could kind of do it without the onions, but I think it's always better. And this is going to be a lot because I bought a lot of meat and... Okay, so after this, we're gonna put this on the fire. Cook the onions down? Yes, and you're gonna do a lot of salt, like even later, you'll be surprised at how much salt it takes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of paprika. So this is paprika here. Okay. You don't wanna burn it. If ever you cook something, you don't wanna burn it because it's gonna get really bitter. So we're gonna wait until this gets all, you know, cooked a little bit. Oh, yeah, that and then you add a little, add a little, add some meat, and then add some water, and then because if it if it burns, then it's bitter. Okay. So, so this here is the meat that, like I said, I smoked it yesterday, last night, and you don't have to smoke it. Um, it just adds a little flavor to it, and oops. So is that a chuck steak? Or? I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's, so this is beef. Yeah. You could uh, use pork. Um, beef is, I think, better, but it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna cut them up, basically bite sizes. And we don't have to cook this too long. 
because now I don't have to worry about the meat right. not so, being cooked. So you right. smoked it in a smoker? Yeah. yeah. She said so she's got a big green egg. Oh, oh green egg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. You love it. it, huh? Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. Just for a little, just a little hot, right? Like a little hot sauce. And it really doesn't matter what kind because in Hungary, we have four different types of paprika. You know, one that's super, super hot, a yeah. mm -hmm. little bit hot, and so on. So that's what you would use, but we don't really have that here. Paprika's not. I mean, they have yeah, cayenne pepper, hot, but. Really, is it? Yeah, cayenne's pepper. Uh, yeah. Pepper. So it doesn't matter. You could that's add some hot sauce. That's my favorite hot sauce, sauce in the crystal. Yeah. Easy. Or you could add cayenne pepper. And you could make it as hot as you want. I just like to have a little kick, not too much. Mm -hmm. And then, so this is from Hungary. This is basically paprika cream. Oh. And it's just a little more because I don't have that much paprika, so I want to make sure I don't run out. And this is actually goulash cream. Oh. So it already has those spices. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that. And I think I bought two of them because... That's not that much, but it's not necessarily needed. And then this here, that's also um, paprika, just basically, I guess it's cooked and um, smashed or something. Just, you know, a little more, as much paprika as you can. So that's, paprika is used a lot in Hungarian yes. cuisine? Yes, a lot. So when we went to Hungary, that place that we, Remember the, the mm -hmm. last vineyard, they, I think we had goulash. We did, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is the original goulash, the Hungarian cowboys, when they mm. would be out oh, in the okay. fields for months. This is what they would cook. Hmm. Like, just like that, you know, over the mm -hmm. fire. Big, yeah. It's a lot of meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to stay hungry. You could add to it. I mean, it wouldn't be goulash, but it would be just as good. You could add potatoes. Mm -hmm. You could add mushrooms. <laughs> you could add beans, like kidney beans. Mm -hmm. It's basically a stew, so you could add vegetables, whatever. I mean, it won't be called goulash anymore, but it would be just as good. So what does this have in it? Um, just the meat. Just the meat. That's okay. it. And we're gonna eat it with bread. So I bought okay. a lot of bread. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And how long do you? How long does it cook? Well, you wanna bring it to a boil. Mm -hmm. um, usually. Well, the meat's already cooked. So. Usually, yeah. the, when the meat is not cooked, you wanna make sure your meat is cooked. So you're gonna taste it a lot. You're gonna keep adding salt, probably, mm -hmm. and pepper. And you know paprika, and every you wanna you're gonna know that that taste, that flavor mm -hmm. is like salty, but just that perfect balance. And you wanna make sure the, the meat yeah. is cooked. So here, we just need everything to kind of mm -hmm. get together, melt together. Yeah. So, I think this has a lot of fat in it, so we're gonna be okay. With that I did bring some bacon too, just in case. But, um, I think that will be good. Cooking a campfire dinner is not only about the food, it's about making the fire, cooking, the company you're with. You know, you can all sit around the fire and just kind of socialize while the food is being made. Ladies, you can ask the men to make the fire. If you're by yourself, like I am most of the time, then you make the fire yourself <laughs> either way it works out and even if you're just by yourself cooking it's still worth it it's still so much better than just cooking over the stove this is how we used to eat a long time ago the fire and the smoke just gives everything such a nice flavor so this is my favorite part of camping and i think a lot of people agree with me